Also, Governor of Shan State, Boyega Oyechala, and his counterpart in River State, Nason Wike, performed the traditional laying of wreaths. Plus, TV Africa monitored these ceremonies in the state. Here are the reports. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day is an annual celebration of the fallen heroes and living legends of the Armed Forces, including those presently in active service. It is usually marked on the 15th of January at the federal, state, and local levels in the country. Usher State Governor Boyega Oyetola applauded the nation's security operatives for sacrificing their comfort to ensure that the citizens enjoy required tranquility. According to the state hemsman, the patriotic conduct of the Nigerian Armed Forces in the face of threats defended the nation's sovereign integrity, peace, and unity. He acknowledged the invaluable contributions of the Nigerian Armed Forces to nation building, particularly the avowed commitment to containing the activities of terrorists and bandits across the nation. Oyetola, however, pledges renewed support of his administration to the cause and tax of nation building, thereby assuring an improved state contribution and prioritizing of the welfare of the Nigerian Legion. We shall continue to hold these loving memories very dearly in our hearts. Indeed, our continued existence as one people with common destiny, faith and enduring tribute to the Iroquois survivors. To all living heroes and gallant officers, you are pride. Your dedication to duty continues to guarantee our collective peace and security. We assure you that your welfare and that of your families of the fallen heroes will continually be prioritized. Rest assured that you are constantly in our prayers and our warm wishes are with you. We have put our interest forth, so also shall we consider yours. The Ocean State Chairman, Nigerian Legion, Ola Dimeji Ola Liri, commended the state government for the yearly sponsorship of the occasion. He, however, called for improved welfare of legions in the state, also appealing to the state government to meet some of their pressing demands to ease their burden. One of our most pressing challenges is this question of vehicle to ease our mobility, our movement from one place to the other. One. Secondly, we want the government to, to, play, to give us job placement. That is, we have some youth being raised from out of Nigeria region. If they get them employed, I think we will be able to get something coming in as an income to cater for the welfare of religious generally. It is expected that these will not only be once in a year attention, rather it will be a constant reminder to treat these dependents as real beneficiaries. Governor Nyesom Wike, who acknowledged the efforts made so far by the country's security chiefs in the battle against insurgents, noted that despite full military engagement with Boko Haram, and killer bandits, the threats appear to be overwhelming the country's security agencies. Governor Wike said Boko Haram, bandits, and killer herdsmen have continued to overrun communities randomly killing and abducting helpless people. A country is as strong as its armed forces, and our inability to defeat the Boko Haram insurgency despite years of full military engagement shows that all is not well with our approaches and commitments to the battle against internal insecurity. Today, therefore, also raises the need for all of us to be worried by the deteriorating security situation across the country and restate the call on the federal government to do everything necessary to bring the security threat by Boko Haram and armed bandits to a decisive end in the shortest possible time. The governor stated that all Nigerians are gracious beneficiaries of the various sacrifices made by the armed forces as they put their life in line to defend the country. Governor Wike reiterated the need to have an enduring reward system for officers and men of the armed forces to encourage them in their sacrifices to the country.
He said his administration has continued to implement such financial support policy for security personnel of rivers' origin. As a government, we believe that society must endeavor to move beyond the yearly ceremonial rituals and comfort speeches of today to provide adequate care and support to the families of every one of our soldiers. It is for this reason that we have since adopted and implemented a policy framework that guarantees some financial support for the immediate families of any soldier from river state that pays the supreme price or suffers permanent disability at the battlefield in the course of his or her service to our nation. We have also fulfilled and continue to fulfill our promises and commitments to our veterans to the River State Chapter of Nigerian Legion. Two days ago, we released the sum of 70 million naira to the chapter. Governor Inyesom Wike was accompanied by the head of security chiefs during the March Pass, laying wreath and release of pigeon amongst others. As River State joins the rest of the country to celebrate the 2021 Armed Forces Remembrance Day, widows of the Nigerian Legion have lamented lack of adequate welfare for legionnaires and families left behind. Some of the widows who spoke in Port Harcourt urged government at all levels to care for the welfare of the wives of the fallen heroes and support in their children's education and empowerment. We have so many things invoked that we want the government to do. We have a land. We bought a land some years ago. I would like the government to help us. If we develop this land, we can put it in rent. In short, I bought this land because I wanted us to do agri. We, they trained us. But since there is no finance, there is nothing I can do. So the land is still there, lavishing for all the years. So if they can uh, help us to establish that land, I'll be very grateful. Even though the governor have given us something to make us happy, if they can help us to develop, I think that should be the, every year we get something out of it and give to the local government that are consigned. The governments, they've been trying, but I want them to try more to help us and see to the education of our children and to see we have some educated widows. If they can fix them somewhere, it will be better and it will go a long way in helping them. They are supposed to be looked upon and make sure that their dues are being paid. High point of the event is the March Pass, laying of wreath by the state governor, Yensom Wiki, heads of security agencies in the state, release of pigeon among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.